today we are talking about antidepressants and weight gain. Weight gain is an important problem when prescribing antidepressants. In fact, it's quite common that patients ask to their doctors, please doctor, don't prescribe me drugs that can me gain weight. And so it's quite important for us clinicians to know which are the antidepressants among the many that are out there that can give more weight gain compared to others that give less weight gain or some that don't give weight gain at all. In fact, weight gain induced by antidepressant can be a problem first because of patients not appreciating it, of course. And so there is a lot of distress in seeing them gaining weight. And this can lead to the second point, that is non-compliance. Patients can stop taking their medication because they are afraid of gaining weight. And third, and probably more important, uh, there is a, an increased risk of medical problems like uh, diabetes uh, or metabolic syndrome uh, or cardiological issues. This is why it's particularly important to know in detail about this side effect. In this review a few years ago, we made a clear ranking about compounds and their potential to give weight gain. As you can see from the right, uh, there is a group of three compounds that are the metazapine, uh, amitriptyline, and paroxetine. All of three give a relevant amount of weight gain. Then there is a group of uh, antidepressants that have uh, almost no effect on weight gain. Citalopram has a mild uh, weight gain effect, uh, while duloxetine and citalopram, sertraline, and fluoxetine have less. It's not here because they are more recent compounds, but uh, also uh, bortioxetine seems quite neutral on weight, and uh, agomelatine and uh, fluoxamine also is uh, uh, not much uh, um, influencing weight. Of note, the fact that bupropion has indeed an effect in reducing weight. And this happens also in the long term. In fact, what you see in this slide is the effect in the long term. Because in the short term, usually there is not much effect. Short term means few weeks or one, two, three months. Because first, during depressive episodes, people reduce weight. And second, uh, at the beginning of antidepressant treatment, uh, there might be some side effects like nausea that reduce appetite. And so the real potential of weight gain can be seen much later, after six months, 12 months, or even after more than one year. In fact, this is a typical case of fluoxetine, where it gives uh, an initial weight loss. Uh, this is why in the past it was considered a good antidepressant for weight loss. But now we know that in the long term, uh, the weight gain may be apparent for some subjects also with uh, fluoxetine. And so, in this final table, we can see a comparison of some of the side effects of the most common antidepressants. As you can see, weight gain is a problem with paroxetine and mirtazapine particularly among these ones, while less for other compounds. But being red, it means giving weight gain is not always a problem. We can consider that for some patients, uh, underweight patients, uh, gaining weight uh, would be a positive effect. And moreover, for the decision in prescribing the right and the person for everyone, we should consider also the other possible side effects. As you can see from the slide, also sexual dysfunction induced by antidepressant is quite common for some compounds and less for others. The same for sleepiness or insomnia. And for some antidepressant also there is the issue of QTC prolongation. So this table is meant uh, uh, as a guide not to decide which are the best antidepressant in general, because there is no antidepressant that is better than the other overall, but which is the most appropriate for each subject. Some subject uh, maybe can need some uh, sedative effect, uh, while other subject uh, maybe can need some effect on uh, 
increasing appetite. And therefore, it's important to choose the right one for every patient for a, a very uh, aimed and specific uh, individualized treatment.